Good evening, everyone. This is Evangelist Velma Anderson coming back to you with a drink that I've constructed. <laughs> okay, um, it'll be very good. It tastes wonderful, and it's a brand new idea. Drinking something cold, full of ice, a sweet drink, but it's also full with hot peppers. Not completely full, but enough peppers to make it have a really kick to it without having the fizz from soda or carbonation. Okay, so hot peppers we know good for you in several ways. This happens to be a Kool-Aid mix. Okay, it was already sweet. All I had to do was add the ice and put a few pieces of these hot chili peppers in there and stir it up. So, I don't really drink Kool-Aid, but just to prove a point of how sweet and hot would mix together, I'd say go ahead and try it. But it looks delicious. You see the, well, it, it doesn't look like anything. It looks like a little fish at the bottom, <laughs> goldfish, but it's actually pieces of hot pepper that I took out of this uh, Oreal, I guess that's the name, Oreali, uh Chili Arbor. Chili peppers, whatever. I'm sorry, I dropped that one. But anyway, this is what I did. I took it and pinched the ends of it a couple of times and then threw it in the Kool-Aid. So try it. It's a real different type of thing, and it's something that the Lord gave me to do. If anyone else is doing it, I have no idea. But anyway, I'm not trying to sell anything except a great idea to make some change in our life. Okay, also, the lemon juice. Or the only thing combined in this drink is the lemon juice. Um the peppers, and a drink that you'd make. Um, I haven't tried it in any other drink yet. I guess you can try it in a non-carbonated soda or either a, a smoothie. I guess you can make a smoothie with it and just put the hot peppers in it um, without Kool-Aid, of course. I don't know how you want to make your drink, but if it's a sweet drink, my whole concept is add some hot peppers to it. It'll be good for your throat, good for your chest, open up your chest cavities, okay, if you if you got congestion. It'll all, just as long as you're not allergic to any hot peppers or anything that you put in here, okay, in your drink. Um, so, the other thing is, uh, I can take the hot peppers, the lemon juice, put it in a spray bottle, as I did here, and you want to make a nice spray as a skin protector uh, for your body. I forgot to mention on the last video that I did put um, some oil in it. You could put olive oil or a little essential oil, whatever you don't mind putting in your mouth because you can spray it in your mouth also to protect your tonsils on your tongue if you happen to go out before you put a mask. But this is a body conditioner. It's a body protector for skin. I'm sorry, for the skin. You put it on your face as long as you don't, you know, make your eyes hurt. So anyway, this you can make as a skin protector. It also soothes your skin when you put the little oil in it with the hot peppers and the lemon. Put some oil in it so because it makes your skin soft as soon as you touch it. Lemon juice does that anyway. It'll make your skin soft. It's also good for killing odors. If you also want to have another type of um, underarm deodorant, use some lemon juice. A little bit of lemon juice up under your skin. Just rub it in. It'll kill any odor and last for a day or so. You'll see. Also, those anti anti um, perspirant. Um, underarm deodorants, most of them cause little balls to come up, you know, irritations of skin growth under your skin if you use those long enough. So you may want to substitute either some lemon juice up under your arm. All you need is like a half a teaspoon under each armpit and rub it in it and it'll be good. Uh, or either you can try cinnamon, no lemon juice, just plain dry cinnamon uh, up under your arms, each one after you've showered or take a bath. Cinnamon will last forever. It'll just be just be careful because if you have on light clothing, uh, it may turn your light clothing a little brown under under your armpits. But it'll be a great substitute for those uh, arm deodorants that are now really harming people. So, um, also as a hair um, and scalp treatment, the hot peppers. You can put a little lemon juice and water. 
okay with a little bit of olive oil again or one of your essential oils if you want to do for your hair mix those together and it will make a great hair spray like a tonic on your scalp it'll you'll feel the opening you'll feel your scalp like tingling like that old sulfur eight um hair product used to do it's really good for your scalp it keeps your pores uh, from getting uh really nasty and dry and itching it'll stop the itching it also this combination also may be good for mosquito bites and all that stuff um i'm working on some other areas to experiment with this product uh, so you just make it yourself at home. You know, I just want to pass some good advice around. I do have a cause that I'm working on to try to purchase some land, small pieces of land, uh, to give individual homeless people. I rather call them displaced citizens of our country all over. Um, I'm working on buying pieces of land for them, uh, and presenting them with the deed of their own so that they won't have to be, uh, outside in the street you know we can they can put up a tent there until they get a, a, a nice agreement with someone who builds houses to put a house there or either have a trailer put on it but contact me if you want to know more about that but this is my project right here the things that I'm doing to try to raise money I'll, I'll get my 501c3 very soon uh, where I can actually have an area where you can send donations to that Okay, and it'll go straight towards purchasing property, small pieces of property for the homeless. Okay, it's called H2O, Homeless to Owner. Okay, and we'll talk more about it. But if anyone's interested in talking to me about that, please give me a call, 803-261-5633. I'm currently in Columbia, South Carolina, where the treasurer's office is. Every day is trying to sell some small and very large pieces of land to anyone who can purchase it. There shouldn't be a problem. They don't ask for credit checks. They just want you to purchase a piece of land and be the owner. Uh, no mortgage. No mortgage. And just pay the um, taxes once a year. So call me if you're interested. Every state city county should have some of those pieces of property if you're interested in helping a loved one or a friend or a stranger to own their own pieces of property please give me a call i'll help you work it out and let you know who you can go see or help you find out who to go see for that anyway god bless i've been on here long enough thank you so much for staying in and uh, check my website out for uh, more information on how to be safe during this coronavirus, I want to give a shout out to those who are lost loved ones, uh, our condolences, and I want to give a shout out to those who have survived. God bless you, and let's keep on doing what's right, staying in the Lord, and check Genesis out so you'll see about how the herbs that God had made are for our food and for our medicine, Genesis chapter 1. So be blessed, and I'm going to stir this and take a sip. Yeah, 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 have some. <laughs> I want you to surprise yourself with this. God bless. Bye-bye. Ah, it's good and different. <laughs>